Hello, hello my friends and welcome back! First of all, welcome back to a new video and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Career Mode which we haven't touched upon for quite some time. So first you saw me there picking a contract which will be fly by min, min, fly by Eve. So this will be a new planetary body in our career mode exploration. And also we upgraded the R&D laboratory because we need the final level of that to unlock the last few and piece of technology. Right now just quick going quickly over a few, I went over a few different other techno technologies. Yeah, sure. No, but other missions we could, we might be able to combine into everything. And then I thought, well, we still have a few days off before the launch date. And then I remembered we still have this contract over there, so which is now opened, of course, uh, which we kind of messed up a little bit. So I decided to let's actually complete both contracts in one launch with one mission, which will be perfectly fit for everything. So. So, since that's my plan, I designed a space station type of thing, or at least a craft which matches all requirements, having solar panels to build, uh, to build, to produce some power, having those 5,000 units of electric storage cap capacity, having the docking port at the top, and those five Kerbal space, where we can throw in our Kerbals. Then we need some sort of propulsion system to get us into a solar orbit. Oh, and by the way, at the moment where I was designing this, I still wasn't sure whether I'll do both missions in one go, or just first the first one and then the second one. But now, let's focus more on the, the, on the design. So since we had still some space left in the service module, I placed a few more of those small orange puffy puffy tanks in there to use to the maximum capacity. And then I... The, decided to why not use the entire spacecraft as some sort of relay system and later on um, where, I'm, where I'm now building the next part is the part for the EVE mission, kind of the flyby of EVE and I decided to, you know what, let's actually try landing or just, uh, sending a probe down to EVE and that's why we're gonna need a relay dish in order to being able to relay this information or the science data and of course communication in general because this is an unmanned probe ports the back to the KRC and thus we need some relay dish in order to communicate with our with our small tiny rover, rover lander lander of course so since the other small dish or the other relay dish was a bit too small i went with a big one even though it is looks a little bit overpowered but we do need a big dish in order to talk back to the ksc since we'll be heading into planetary and we might even get kicked out by the gravity assist from the flyby slightly further away or closer it depends on where our flyby will be but that's nothing really, well, nothing really I cared about. Now, placing on a heat shield at the top is very necessary because of the um, very dense and, yeah, very dense atmosphere of EVE and the high gravity, which will accelerate us pretty fast towards the surface, just will see towards the atmosphere, and we will have a lot of heating issues there. That's why we need the big, a big heat shield. And then fiddling around with the staging, which kind of was a little bit messed up. I mean, the, the readouts on the Kerbal Space and uh, the Kerbal Engineer Redux were terrible. But by the way, um, I probably haven't said that yet too often, but I already mentioned it a couple of times in previous episodes, I think. But <clears throat> so the mod Kerbal, uh, Kerbal Engineer Redux is very, 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 very useful. However, I'm only using it in the VAB. I'm not going to use, or I don't use generally the this mod during the fly during flight in the Kerbal Space Program career mode, so that you guys could in theory replicate that. I just use it to for to make the designs a little bit easier to have just a more or less estimation of whether something will work or won't work. But um, I managed to do all those small, well, most of most of most of the things I've done here in this playthrough, uh, even without the Kerbal Engineer Redux in my earlier personal playthroughs, yeah. So it is definitely possible, and it's more or less just the estimation and the 
experience, yeah, experience. But if you're a new player, feel free to copy my designs, which is generally have a look at that. Maybe be getting inspired and building something even better, more curblier, and more awesome and capable, and so on and so forth. So much um, to that. And soon we will have the. Oh, and by the way, so as you can see here, I actually forgot to throw out the kerbals out of the spaceship. So that's kind of became a little bit messed up there. So never forget to throw out your kerbals there. Now, onto the. Now we are in space, which is pretty decent, I think, isn't it? And since I wouldn't. I don't think you have to watch through all of the maneuver note uh maneuver noting I just skip forward to this mid flight correction burn where we kind of just adjust our heading a little bit in order to have a nice encounter with Eve, which was mainly done by earlier as you saw. Anyways now since we're in space already if we decide to go for the um a few science modules doing all the science we want to do because science is important and now jumping back to the KFC so that we can have a look whether because we complete the flyby mission we get a new mission. A mission which I kind of um a mission I'd like to have oh well would have been nice is something like explore Eve or land on Eve or make a orbit around Eve or something like that. But anyway, since that's already passed, we don't really care anymore. We are now detaching our nice nice craft there so that we have a good small ship which will be able to f now, uh, adjust its heading and plummet directly towards the surface of well towards the planetary body of Eve now coming in close disabling the UI and having a beautiful beautiful look at the magnificent planet mahahaha <laughs> now I really like the looks of those planets with the what is it, um, visual enhancement mod it's really beautiful I really enjoy having them they're really good mods especially how bright how really shiny they are but anyways now since we are already descending down here pretty good and free entry is extremely hot however these shield um this heat shield is a bit overpowered well the heat shields in general are a bit overpowered, but they're really nice. And gliding down, it took quite some time in the thick atmosphere, so I decided to let's jump forward ahead in time and be just at the point where we landed. Got the got the signs we done well. I did a few science experiments in orbit around, uh, in orbit. I mean, in low, uh, in high altitude, the temperature and the barometer, and. No, since we're down here, we can just use the how's it called gravity gravity thingy, the seismometer. You know, yeah, the seismometer, and then waiting until we have the other craft more or less in sight, and then I decided here to decelerate so we have a little bit longer in sight. And now a really annoying part began, transferring transmitting all the signs before the the station or the other craft uh, got out of the communications range because two not really good sun exposure really bad batteries and a lot of science experiments make this kind of e kind of hard and annoying and the engine sadly did not generate any electricity which was really a pain in the ass and took quite a while but in the end we were able to transmit some signs sadly not all the signs the fluid atmospheric experiment science did not get transferred well, but most of the other things uh, we're able to get, get through. However, even that, it only gave us around 300 science points in, in total, so we were not able to get uh, any new technology researched, which is kind of sad, but whatever. And after that, I kind of would say that's the end of this um, episode. Thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, Spaceship, signing out. Have a nice day.